Hey guys, and welcome to this perhaps new era for meat builders. I've been gone for quite a while, personal reasons, building reasons, and cycling reasons, and any other reason. Um, just been incredibly busy, and I also really didn't feel like making videos for a while. Um, that was large part due to the reactions on the Oscar video, but then again, I don't have any response to that. I mean, just haters gonna hate and everything. But I wanted to make another video again and maybe more useful videos like the ones I did before with the gradient brush or the Cinema 4D tutorials. Those are the videos that I get most views from and most rewards from. So I thought I'd make some more of those. And the one I was gonna do today is a pattern brush. You may already know the clipboard brush, but this is something else that I use, especially for tile floorings. The build behind me uses it quite often, and I thought you guys might want to learn how to do that. Anyway, let's do this. Okay, the first thing that I would like to do is just show you what the plugin, uh, the the brush can do, and this is, for example, uh, an example of that. I won't show you too much of the rest of the build because it's a MCBCon exclusive from one of our members. But yeah, you get the gist, it's a tile floor. Just gonna show you two more examples. This build uses the same technique both inside and outside. Like the inside tiles are bigger than the outside ones. Yeah, and then there's one other project. Well, if you are curious, this is my house project that I was uh, that I presented earlier today, the day that I recorded this, uh, I'll be uh, building it in real life. Okay, so this is playlist park, um, and this build uses two variants of that tiling floor. Uh, one's over here that you can see it. It's uh, the square and diamond shape, and here you have just the. Well, yeah, just the hexagons, like you would. Anyway, so let's learn how to make this sort of stuff. Okay. Okay, so this is the pattern I made and that is the floor I've created. So let's see how this works. So you select the outer corners, then you do slash slash copy. And then you take a tool, any tool will do. You do brush sphere, hashtag copy in your radius. If you have a mask in mind, you can do whatever size you want. So I'm just gonna do 50. You can do 200 if you can, but just, I'm just gonna do 50 and then mask it to 35, one. And let's see if this works. There you go. There you have a simple tile floor. Of course, you can make the shape as elaborate as you want, the tiling as big as you want. Um, basically, you can do whatever the hell you want with it. This is the simplest way to use it. There are other applications for it, obviously. Um, for example, Lynn Blumen once used it very successfully for his Planet Minecraft uh, Barbarian Contest entry. Uh, for those who remember all those hexagons placed onto the terrain, this was most likely done with this method. And this is one application of one tool that you might be interested in. Anyway guys, I'll talk to you in the next one and subscribe if you want to because I will try to be making more of this type of video. See you guys.